My stabilization is good to go. Guys, welcome back to Intake Legacy. Right now I'm at Engine Swap Supplies, ready to talk about some information, what's going down in the future content. And today's content, which I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing. Maybe we're gonna be showing off what the little V6 is gonna be getting. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? We're back. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Just came to see the, all the parts that, did you bring all the parts for the turbo system kit and all that? I didn't bring anything, did you? Work here, man, they're here already. Oh yeah. <laughs> like he told me now. Nah, but they're uh all here. they're all here. I'm sure you guys saw Omar's radiator yesterday. Yeah, I I saw it. It's black. I don't want nobody I didn't I don't want nobody to know that there's a turbo in the truck. Because well, most of them are, are uh you know silver, silver aluminum. So I told you we were gonna move fast on it. Everybody's saying actually do it, actually do it, actually do it. We're doing it. So for everyone that supported me from the beginning, thank you guys very much. Um, if it wasn't for the good motivational quote, I mean comments, I would never really push myself to keep pushing it harder than I am right now. I want to set this table up so we can actually show you the parts in better detail. Cool. Ooh, bro, you ready? What? Yeah, I guess so. You ready for this? Yeah. What's up? Okay. Uh, so we set up a little table here to show you guys uh, more or less what parts we're gonna be using to turbo Omar's truck. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. Uh, in the last catch can video, we got a lot of positivity from it. We're moving and we're moving fast on it. So this time we're gonna show you what we're gonna use and kind of how we're gonna do it. So first off, I guess we'll start with the turbo right here. This isn't the exact turbo we're gonna be using on this truck, but it's really similar. This one's one I had on the shelf. It's a Borg, this one's a Borg Warner uh, 369 SXE. And uh, so it's a 69 millimeter billet wheel. Omar's is a 72 millimeter. This one has a, a one AR housing and Omar's has like an 83 AR housing. If you don't know, a little bit of an explanation of how turbos work. Exhaust gases flow in and they come out. So when the exhaust gases flow in, it spins the turbine wheel and in turn spins the compressor wheel. So in order to save cost, we're gonna mount this on the bottom and uh, so we're gonna mount this turbo on the bottom where I guess most trucks, the Y pipe connects to the mid pipe. Gonna, this is gonna intercept it. And then what we're gonna do, we got a V-band flange here. Here, I actually think it's this one. This is a four inch flange. So the exhaust goes in here, pretty much right after the Y pipe, spins the turbine housing, comes out, and we're gonna be running four inch to dual threes. Looks like a transformer. To two mufflers. So uh, that's how we're gonna do that. And if you guys know turbos, they require oil. Oil. And the way we're gonna we're gonna feed this from the motor. Uh, this turbo is actually clocked backwards. This is the oil feed. Okay. This should be up top. Always should be up top. But this one's clocked backwards. For I guess we were just mocking it up. And this is the drain. So the drain's always pointing down. The turbo's gravity drain, which means you want to have them higher than the oil pan, so you can run your line down to the oil pan. But when you mount them down low, what we do is we run an oil pump just for the drain of the turbo, and that sends the motor back or sends the oil back to the motor. We're going to be using a fitting, an oil cap fitting, to send the oil back through the oil cap, so we don't have to drill or tap the pan or anything. So that's what that's how we're going to be running the turbo. This right here is a wastegate. Now what this does is basically controls boost. This is what controls your boost here. This is a tur uh, TurboSmart 45 millimeter wastegate. This is a new gen five wastegate. It's a legacy blue. I just made that up. Uh, so what it does, so when we feed the exhaust here, uh, if you don't have a wastegate. When you feed it right in here? Yeah, so this is where we're gonna feed it. If you don't have a wastegate, all your exhaust is just gonna push this. It's gonna spin this as fast as it can. This is gonna make a ton of boost. It's gonna come in here. It's gonna spin this turbine wheel. Your exhaust is gonna spin the turbo as much as it can. And it's gonna make a ton of boost. Uh, that, you don't want that because it'll blow the out of your motor. So what this does is it goes before it hits the turbine wheel and it's got a valve. So there's a spring in here that pretty much controls boost pressure. So there's a seven PSI spring in here. So when people say like seven pounds of boost and stuff, this is kind of what controls it. Uh, you can add a boost controller. That's a whole another deal for another day. But uh, seven, seven pounds at seven pounds of pressure, the valve will start to crack and release excess pressure here. And that way you're only spinning the turbo to seven pounds and not 70 pounds and f***ing your shit up. So that's what that's for. And then you also have a blow off valve. Turbo Smart Gen 5 blow off valve, also in Legacy Blue. Once again, I made that up. So this goes in the intake pipe right before, in between the throttle body and the mass airflow sensor. So when you when you put your foot down and your throttle body open, is wide open and you get your foot off the throttle and the throttle body closes, you got that air that's it's got nowhere to go. So what this does is this, this valve opens up and it releases a pressure and that's what you hear the whoosh, that's that sound you hear. It's from here. If you don't route this back into the exhaust, this outlet here, this will make its own sound and it'll actually start to shoot flames, which. Yeah, that'll be slit. Which is cool. As soon as I go to the event, that's gonna be one of the shows. I'm gonna be doing donuts and that's gonna go boom, 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 boom. Set on fire. Uh, 
next up is intercooler. So this is a Mishimoto intercooler, uh, four inch. It's a four inch thick. And basically once the air comes out of your turbo, this these blades compress the air. If you didn't take science in high school or middle school, uh, you know that compressed air is hot. It just generates heat. So you gotta cool it down somewhere. You can't send it straight to the motor. So what it does is it goes to the intercooler. Similar to a radiator, the air passes through here. Cool the air as you're driving, cools it down. Air passing through these fins, cools the hot air and out comes colder air. And then it goes into your, to your throttle body. Again, bottom mount. We're gonna run the intercooler piping to the intercooler up front. And the oil, the oil is probably the biggest issue with these things. Or oiling is, is what people biggest concern about running them down low, but with the oil pump. And you get a good oil pump. We're using a Turbo Works oil pump. If you have a good oil pump, you don't really have much to worry about. And again, the whole reason we're putting it down there is because it's not like a permanent deal. Yeah, it's not too crazy. Um we're eventually gonna put a 6.2 in there. Um, so it's not really a point to put everything on there. You have to redo it. Yeah, so uh, the six, when we, so the, so when we do the V8, we'll be using, these are Gen 5 turbo headers. Uh, these we're making for an eight to one, but for uh, regularly they'll have a collector here and then you'll just run your pipe. These are the style headers we're gonna be running when we, when we do the 6.2 swap, which also happening. Yep, you thought good. I was playing games. Mm -mm. In the last video I was in, I talked about doing two builds at once. That's what this is. A cheap turbo build, which we'll show you guys how to do it, and uh, we'll sell you. We sell the parts. You guys make your own parts. Yeah, so we we make our own parts. We make, you know, we can sell you the parts if we don't make it. Like anything you see here, anything we sell, we use. Uh, we've used, we've tested. We'll stand behind. If I don't use it, if I haven't used it, if I haven't tested it, I won't sell it to you. Turbo Smart is one of the best wastegate companies, blow off valve companies you can use. Borg Warner is a really good American-made company. Uh, a lot of OEM turbo stuff. Fairly cheap. Uh, so instead of using a China turbo and stuff like that, you can get a nice Borg Warner. The 72 and the, the 69 millimeter and the 72 millimeter run about 900 bucks. And for 900 bucks, man, turbo is good for like a thousand horsepower. How much do you think I'm gonna be pushing with the whole setup on the truck? So the the the, the problem with the V6 with the 4.3 is the uh, fuel. Uh, pretty safe. You'll be making a little over 400 on like seven pounds. At well, they're making like seven. A little over 400 on four pounds, so seven pounds. If fueling is okay, I would think you'd be in the 450 range. Um, but I do have a set of LT1 injectors that we'll toss in there. That should take care of the fuel. And if we need to add a secondary fuel pump, we'll do that. And then we'll also add meth. We'll see if we can get six or 700 out of it. And then just see what happens. So, get the numbers basically. Yeah, that's pretty much the goal. Go for my channel, which the goal from the beginning was just to see what new technology can actually do and finally i'm getting to that point thank you for helping me out everything that we're doing right now is just to show everybody else what's possible yeah man i mean if if you guys go to the engine swap supply youtube channel you see that we give away a lot of info oh yeah i forgot he has a youtube channel so guys want to check it out he's still how many videos do you have on there there are 17 videos but they're all quality videos man they're all edited it's then they're all informative um, i may have one or two joke videos in there but uh the majority <laughs> of them uh I, like i said i i give away a lot of information just like what we're doing here just like what you saw in the other video we sell the parts if you guys decide to buy them from us but you know uh, my goal is to inform as much people as possible do you do like ls motors uh, like some parts for ls or like what's going on with that yeah so we do ls stuff we do a lot of ls stuff but the the gen 5 is like the new the, it's just the new what's better new, and that's what we focus on ls stuff is a lot of it's figured out if you guys need an ls build you know we can do that we actually have if anybody's looking for a 60 short block that's ready for boost we have one for sale what do you do just he you do heads and all that kind of yeah, little kits and that's we can just... port we can port the heads we can build the motors uh, if you want turbo all right well camera kind of died on us so and it heat, heated up so we're coming back to you the last thing i think we're going to be talking about is going to be the what is it? i forgot i ordered all this for your oh this is your this is the original VP. Flip it. Oh, flex bellow for your exhaust. Oh damn, I didn't think we were gonna discuss all that. <laughs> Well, that's just normal. Shit. This is the flange I was talking about. Made in the USA. What's up? So this is the flange that we use to bolt in here. So I was telling you how the exhaust was go in in here. Yeah. And this is a two and a half. So you see the transition? Oh, I see it now. So it's not just a dead circle. It's like circled and then the other. Yeah. yeah so it matches this. Yours doesn't have this. This because this is a larger AR housing uh, for more airflow. So this would work on like a five three. Yours is a little bit smaller and it's open. It would actually work perfectly. So remember how I was telling you we were gonna connect the exhaust. 
So imagine this is a front of your truck and your exhaust is coming in and then it will just turn and come into here. This is where and we're using V-bands on everything to connect to the normal, to the original exhaust. We're using V-band and we're using V-bands to connect everything. So it'll be like this. And then I have transitions here. So this will go to a three inch to fit your normal exhaust. So this will be a clean setup that will have your muffler shop. So not everybody has a welder. And the whole point of this build is that you can actually take it to your exhaust shop. And we'll be working with an exhaust shop, or at least Omar's working with the exhaust shop to get this put in. And like I said, we're gonna show you how you guys can do it. Buy the parts wherever you want. We do sell them, then take it to your preferred muffler shop. Just and, uh, tell them, hey, can you do this extra? Have them, uh, have them watch Omar's video, or our video, we'll probably do a video on it too. Just so you guys have a better idea, this is how the wastegate would go before it hits the turbo. And it'll point down to the ground. So when Omar's shooting flames, it'll uh, burn up your concrete. Well, Burning tire and some concrete. But that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. I mean, turbos aren't super complicated. What makes them complicated is routing them up top and getting all that out of the way. But when you mine them down low, essentially this is acting like a muffler. I mean, what are the, like, some things that I were curious that I asked you, if you mount it down low, what are the disadvantages? Probably boost lag and oiling. Um, and then obviously it's down low, so you can't exactly drive into a lake, but. Can you drive when it's raining? The yeah. regular draining? Yeah, so if you, we'll build a skid plate or something, but the thing is, man, people shoot like water meth, well, water methanol mixture into the turbine, into the compressor side as a, that's a meth kit. People shoot it in there. So when the turbo compresses, it just compresses the water. It turns it in, it atomizes it. And if anything, it'll make your, it'll make you run cooler. It'll actually cool the air. So Cause everybody's always saying that, um, that when you put water, it goes inside and then it goes to the engine and then something is that that's no. So, OK, so put it this way, the water is going to come in through this in, into these blades. These blades are going to compress the water. It's going to atomize it into a mist, more of a fog. It's not even a mist. You ever walk out on a foggy day? That's yeah. kind of what happens. And it still has to travel through the pipe, through the intercooler and into the motor. Chances of you clogging up the motor with water very, 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 very minimal. You'd have to drive into a fucking lake. If all shit goes wrong and right now is, is it theories or facts for you? For what? Like this, what you're talking about. These are facts. These are facts. I don't, I don't work with some theories. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna look at my truck and how it performs. So I'm gonna be testing it. I'm gonna be using it for a while. And for the meantime, we're gonna be just, how do you like experimenting with everything that's going around right now I'm working on some merch uh for you guys because we're still going to be raffling a 6.2 yeah so we're gonna be giving away like i said i've been talking to omar and like i said from the first video i was in i'll give a 6.2 away uh if omar makes merch and if like let's just say that the videos are getting good if they're selling a lot then we're gonna be modding it that's what you said so the more merch you sell or the more merch you buy the more i'll do to the to the motor 